Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving deep into a topic that concerns everyone striving to live a righteous life, ways to avoid sin according to the Bible. The Bible offers profound wisdom and practical guidance to help us stay on the right path. Let's explore these teachings together. Section 1 Understanding Sin It's crucial to understand what sin is according to the Bible. Sin is essentially any action, thought or behavior that goes against God's commands. Romans 3.23 tells us, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Sin separates us from God, but the Bible also provides the way to overcome it. Section 2 The Role of Faith and Salvation First and foremost, avoiding sin starts with faith in Jesus Christ and accepting Him as your Savior. Ephesians 2.8.9 says, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works. Lest anyone should boast, by accepting Jesus we receive the Holy Spirit who helps us resist sin. Section 3. Regular Prayer and Communion with God Prayer is a powerful tool in avoiding sin. Jesus himself often withdrew to pray as we see in Luke 5.16, Regular Prayer strengthens our relationship with God and provides the strength to resist temptation. Philippians 4, 6, 7 encourages us to present our request to God and His peace will guard our hearts and minds. Section 4. Studying and Meditating on the Word of God The Bible is our guidebook for living a holy life. Psalm 119.11 says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. By studying and meditating on the scriptures, we equip ourselves with the knowledge of God's will, making it easier to avoid sin. Section 5. Fellowship and Accountability Hebrews 10.24.25 emphasizes the importance of fellowship, and let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. Being part of a faith community provides support accountability and encouragement to live righteously. Section 6. Fleeing from Temptation 1 Corinthians 10.13 assures us that no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. However, it's also wise to avoid situations where you might be tempted. Proverbs 4.14.15 advises, Do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn from it and go on your way. Section 7. Practicing Self-Control. Self-control is a fruit of the Spirit listed in Galatians 5 23 By cultivating self-control, we can resist the urge to sin. Proverbs 25 28 warns, like a city whose walls are broken through is a person who lacks self-control. Therefore, strengthening our self-discipline through prayer and practice is crucial. Section 8. Repentance and Confession When we do sin, it's important to repent and confess our sins to God. First John 1 John 1.9 promises, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Repentance means turning away from sin and making a conscious effort not to repeat it. Section 9. Walking in the Spirit Galatians 5.16 says, So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. By living according to the Holy Spirit's guidance, we can overcome the sinful desires of our nature. This involves daily submission to God's will and seeking His guidance in all we do. Section 10. Renewing the Mind Romans 12.2 advises, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Renewing our minds involves immersing ourselves in God's Word, rejecting worldly influences, and adopting a godly perspective on life. Section 11. Practicing Gratitude and Contentment The First Thessalonians 5.18 encourages us to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Practicing gratitude helps us focus on God's blessings and prevents us from falling into sins like envy and covetousness. Similarly, being content with what we have helps us avoid greed and dissatisfaction. Section 12. Putting on the Armor of God Ephesians 6.11 instructs us to put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. The armor of God includes truth, righteousness, the gospel of peace, faith, salvation, the word of God, and prayer. Each piece is essential in protecting us from sin and temptation. 
section 13, serving others and engaging in good works. James 1.27 describes pure and undefiled religion as caring for orphans and widows and keeping oneself unspotted from the world. Serving others and engaging in good works shifts our focus. From selfish desires to fulfilling God's commands, helping us avoid sin. Section 14. Embracing humility. Pride is often the root of many sins. Proverbs 16.18 warns, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Embracing humility and recognizing our dependence on God can protect us from falling into sin. Section 15. Reflecting on God's love and sacrifice. John 3.16 reminds us of God's immense love. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Reflecting on Jesus' sacrifice for our sins motivates us to live in a way that honors him. Conclusion Living a life that avoids sin is a continuous journey, and the Bible provides us with the tools and guidance to navigate this path. By embracing faith, prayer, scripture, fellowship, self-control, and other biblical principles, we can overcome sin and grow closer to God. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more biblical insights. God bless you.